everyone and welcome to episode four of Triton Vision. Today I am joined by head softball coach Catherine Prophet and student athlete Lauren Margolis. Welcome guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So the first question of the day is after a strong recruitment season there have been some great new additions to the team. How do you go about um, building good chem chemistry throughout the season? Well, I think it starts with great leaders and great leadership. Um, we've put a lot of work and effort into building our culture. Um, and I think having the good leaders, they know how to keep our culture and what we've already built and um, you know, also bring good chemistry to that. So I, I credit our upperclassmen and the hard work they've put in. Yeah, yeah kind of building off that, I think uh, we do a lot of things outside of the softball field. So we do team dinners. Uh, beach days, Kappa field days, stuff like that. I think just, you know, as a first year, it's hard to kind of get used to being in college. So trying to make it easier for them um, and just making them feel comfortable and all that, I think that as a whole kind of helps our team. Yeah, I know it can be helpful living on such a small campus because you end up seeing each other all the time. So it oh, helps yeah. like form those connections a little bit easier. Yeah, for sure. So our next question is, with the season now in full swing, what are you guys most looking forward to? I love watching our players compete. And I think, it, I mean, I love going to our games. I know maybe I'm biased, but <laughs> I, um, you know, I, I love our players. So watching them play is just really fun for me. So I love going on the road. The bus trips are fun. Like, it's just overall, I mean, season to season, it's fun. Yeah, I think competing is, <clears throat> a big thing we like doing, I think winning is also really fun. So going out there with like some of your best friends and winning is really fun. But also the little things like the bus rides, the team bonding, like the dinners we do, that's all really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's been great like watching just the few first series of this season, just watching the um, new additions to the yeah. team like just dominate out there. Yeah. And it's amazing, especially on the pitching staff. Like it's just been great yeah. just watching them grow. So our next question is for Coach Profit. So before coming to Coach for Edgar, you coached at North Carolina State University. Uh, what was the transition like from Division One to Division Two collegiate sports? It was it was a big transition for myself. I was I had a big learning curve, but you know after being here, I I loved D two. Like it is it's such a more personal and family oriented experience. I think. You know, everywhere from our staff and you know the athletic department to the professors. I mean, you're a name, not a number here. Um, you know, you're treated like family. You know, I tell our players all the time. You know, we're we're a big family. You guys are sisters. You know, like it's it's just so important, I think, to have that personal touch. Mm -hmm. So I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. So awesome. yeah. And what made you decide to come to Eckerd? I'm from here. So, oh, okay. yeah, so, um, you know, I had been away with college and grad school and jobs and stuff, and I really wanted to come back home and settle down here and start a family, and I got really, really lucky that there was a job at Eckerd, so I am so fortunate to be here. All right, so our next question is for Lauren. So last year you had a phenomenal season with a career high 40 hits, 37 runs, and four home runs, also setting the program career walks drawn record. I'm sure this year will be an exceptional season as well, um, but are there any short-term goals that you have that you hope to accomplish on the field this season? Um, I think the number one goal is just to enjoy it. It's my last year. Um, so really taking it all in, I think that's something I've been really working on, you know, enjoying every practice, every games, all the trips and all that. Um, I also think this is one of the best teams I've played on since being here, so I think regionals is another thing that's really in our vision this year. Um, but, you know, going out there and winning and competing is one of my main goals, doing what I can to help the team every game, so yeah. You are also a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Council. So what is it like being able to be a part of great initiatives that help improve our campus community? Honestly, it's been really enjoyable, especially this year. We've been working on a lot of things. We've been doing, uh, the gym actually just got redone, the beach courts. Um, but I think the biggest goal we've been working on is kind of mending that bridge between athletes and non-athletes. Um, and it's been really like fun to work with some of the non-athletes. We have a lot of things. Um, coming up this season that I'm really excited for. But it's really nice to leave Eckerd, I always say, like better than the way I found it. So kind of, you know, leaving my mark on my last year. It's been really fun. 
in one of the programs I'm a part of as well, like our like upperclassmen project is like what legacy are we going to leave mm -hmm. here? So it's nice to like and one of my legacies that I want to leave is to also help like bridge the gap between students and athletes. Yeah. Because we're all students. Exactly. You know? Um so it's great to know that like you guys that's just your main goal. So yeah. That's awesome. I think that's a big thing in every meeting, everything we talk about is always just trying to make that bridge. Yeah. It's been really fun. All right, so now we are going to play a little game to see if Lauren or Coach Prophet can name the most Miami girls on the softball team, as a lot of the players this year and from past years have been from Miami, Florida. So 30 seconds for you guys who would like to start. I'm third. All right, let's go. Myself. Megan. Mia. Ella. All right, if we're going alumni, Janice, Ergy, Janessa, Janessa. Um, I think that, I think that's it. That might be it, unless you got Brenna. But Brenna's she always wants to be Miami. She's she? Miami, but she's not Miami. <laughs> <laughs> well, you named all of them in less than thirty seconds, so that's great. <laughs> we killed it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you both for joining me today. This has been great. Um, and thank you all for watching the fourth episode of Triton Vision. We will see you again next week.